Hi, welcome to part two of the Alan Rosenberg special edition where I'm showing you my Criterion Collection Laserdiscs that I've had for decades and watch all of them, still watch them. And uh, if you tuned in Friday night, it's playing right here. That was part one where I showed you my Criterion Collection Laserdiscs starting uh, from the letter A through the letter L. Today we're going to do M through Z and finish it off. Now I have... 86 Criterion Collection Laserdiscs. Um, Criterion, I believe, did 384 uh, through the years of late 1984, which the first one was Citizen Kane through uh, the end of 19, uh, March of 1999. I think uh, 15 years they did them, and that was uh, Armageddon, I believe it was. So I have 86 out of 384. Uh, I'm assuming you know Criterion, but you know they restore choose what they think are the greatest movies, most important movies of all time. They restored them and put them in the correct aspect ratio because back in the Laserdisc days it was VHS years and those were all pan and scan. They put these movies out the way they were meant to be seen in the movies and cleaned them all up and put in uncut footage and director's commentaries and special things in there, documentaries. Just the, the greatest thing. And now... What you have on Laserdisc, of course, they've now transposed to Blu-ray and uh, 4K and, original, and DVDs as well. But uh, for me, nothing beats these original Laserdiscs. I still watch them, and they're just great. So without further ado, part two of my Criterion Collection Laserdisc. This is M through Z. Out of all of these movies, the 86 of them, I loved every single one of them, except there was two that I wasn't thrilled with. One was... The Hamlet one that I showed in the first video. And the other one that didn't blow me away was this one. Uh, Orson Welles' Magnificent Ambersons. And uh, this is the Criterion Collection uh, release of that. So uh, let's put that over there. Next up, really cool flick. I don't want to talk too much about the movies because they're all pretty much great and really important movies. But this was a cool one for sure. Man Bites Dog. And again, this is a movie I never heard of, and that's the great thing about Criterion, even now. You know, if you buy a Criterion film on Blu-ray or DVD or Laserdisc, you know, in general, they are amongst the most important movies of all time. And this was a really cool flick, like that one. Uh, this one, another one I never heard of. This is called Montenegro. Um, or Pigs and Pearls. Montenegro. This was a way cool flick. So you have international films like this. So where else would you see these things? Well, you discover them on Criterion. And they have like this, like uh, special transfers and audio tracks. It's a cool one. Mike Lee's Naked. And this is a gatefold. And let's see the gatefold. There is the gatefold of it. And they're also beautiful to look at. And essays and all of this kind of stuff. And this one, you probably can't see it, but it's loaded with special features. So this is Mike Lee's Naked. Here's a box set of the classic Alfred Hitchcock, North by Northwest. Look what's all on this thing. Just beautiful. So many features. Classic movie that I never saw until I got this. This one's got storyboards and production publicity photos essays, stuff by Alfred Hitchcock, and you open it up, it comes with letters of author, you know, what do you call it, authenticity, this was $99.95 when it first came out, I didn't pay that, of course, but uh, North by Northwest, classic Hitchcock, speaking of Hitchcock, here's the next one, Notorious, this is what the original, the early uh, Criterion Collection discs look like this, uh, they didn't have those full color gorgeous covers at that time but again this is great uh you know special features running audio commentary you watch the whole movie with somebody explaining it to you directors and producers and the actors and comes with notes and this is the gatefold of notorious Terry grant ingrid bergman alfred hitchcock's notorious all right, let's keep going. It's a cool one. And Once Were Warriors. This was a really cool movie, by the way. I think this was the one in New Zealand with the, uh, you know, 
gangs over there, the original people who were living there. This was a really neat movie. I, I totally dug this one. Once for Warriors. Classic war movie, Paths of Glory. What's the verse on this thing? Forty nine ninety nine. it was, a tower video. But uh, I got it for like just a couple of bucks, many years later. Yep. Here's a classic. Check this one out. John Waters' Polyester, starring Divine and Tab Hunter. And this is cool stuff. It's got a whole supplemental special features. Want to see something cool? It even has a scratch-off Odorona card. How neat is that? Because in this movie, it would have a number and you would smell it. So like it was an egg fart or something like that. John Waters, polyester. Rob Ryan is the Princess Bride. I really like this movie. I like well, most of all these, but uh, again, with special features. Running Auto Commentary by Rob Reiner and William Goldman and Billy Crystal and Peter Falk and just tons of stuff. As I like to say, these laser discs, especially Criterion Collection laser discs, is like going to film school. Mel Brooks classic, The Producers. Well, I gotta say, this is one of my least favorite uh, Mel Brooks movies. There you go. Ah, classic Rashomon. Uh, there you go. I. Because of Laserdisc, I fell in love with Akira Kurosawa and have seen just about all of his movies and I have a bunch of them on Laserdisc. Yeah, there's Rashomon. And here's another one. Redbeard. This is fantastic. Fantastic movies. Oh my god. And if it wasn't for Laserdisc, I wouldn't have. This is a two-disc set, but not a gatefold for some reason. But uh, another amazing Kurosawa movie. I saw this one in the movies when it came out and loved it then, still love it. The original Robocop. Really nice graphics, too. And as you can see, special features, audio commentary with director Paul Verhoeven and uh, the writers and uh, uh, Robocop expert. Film to storyboard comparisons. Literally like going to film school. Robocop. And here's another one, The Rules of the Game. And that's what the back of it looks like. And there is the beautiful gatefold. Okay, we have not one, not two, but all three parts of the classic trilogy, Samurai. This is the first one. Boy, did I love watching these three. Absolutely amazing. There's one. And Samurai 2, Duel at Ichicho Temple, however you would say that. And that's the flip side of it. Right there. And Samurai 3, Duel at Ganryu Island. Fantastic trilogy, obviously. Just, just tremendous. There you go. That was that one. All right, let's keep going. We got Scaramouche. Is that where uh, Queen got it? Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Yeah, I don't know. And that's what it looks like. Ooh, we got a little card in the middle there. Here's the beautiful gatefold. The Technicolor. And the flip side. And again, special features. You, know, you could spend lots of time watching this and uh, some important news about the Criterion Collection edition of Scatamouche. You know, different audio tracks and things like that. Ah, box set classic Seven Samurai. And of course, another classic, you know, Kurosawa film. There's the back. And this also has special features. And there's the front again, and then when you open it up, this is a box, and it comes with letters of authenticity and special notes about this pressing of it and extra 
features and all of that. Great stuff. Seven Samurai. This was an odd classic for sure. The Seventh Seal. It's an early edition of that. And again, the back has an audio essay that comes with this. And here's the Inner Gatefold. Magnificent, right? Great stuff. Classic movie for sure. It was in the 70s. Warren Beatty. Shampoo. Julie Christie. Goldie Hawn. Really cool movie. Legendary. Nice to have it on Laserdisc and nice to have it as a criterion. And one of the best movies of all time, in my opinion, the legendary The Silence of the Lambs with Anthony Hopkins, of course, Jodie Foster, and the Criterion edition of that, and the gatefolds with all the chapter indexes and supplemental features. Just a lot on here. Lots of special features. You know, you can watch a movie multiple times with all those running commentaries and things like that. Amazing. Silence of the Lambs. Let's keep going. A movie that I didn't really expect to love, and I watched it and loved it. And that's Silverado. We've got two different versions of that. Here's a Criterion Collection Silverado right there. This is a more basic edition, let's say. But even that's still got, uh, you know... Some basic features and two discs without a gate sleeve. Great Western. But then, got the deluxe edition. Even more deluxe. Criterion Collection of Silverado in a box. And this has some more special features. And it's CAV versus COV, but that's a, a different way that they run it on uh, laser discs. So, that's what Silverado looks like. Great stuff. Two different versions of Taxi Driver from Criterion Collection. This is the basic movie version. Uh, also, I think one of the greatest movies of all time, right? Talking to me? Talking to me? It's got a music track on here. So you could actually play the movie just listening to the music. How cool is that? And then we got a bigger version right here of Taxi Driver. Also, of course, this is all Criterion. And this one's got more features, like a running commentary. And I've seen this movie multiple times, of course, because it is one of the greatest. And there's the gatefold of the great Scorsese classic Taxi Driver. And let's go to this one. Here's an early one, because you can see the covers look so different. This is The Third Man. And this is Awesome Wells, of course. And there's the flip side. And this is an early uh, criterion. One of my favorites, right? This is Spinal Tap. We even got the guitar pick. And this is this is Spinal Tap Criterion Collection. There's the back a whole host of special features, including commentary tracks. In fact, there are two different commentary tracks. So you can watch this movie multiple times. Each time you watch it, somebody is talking about it, different people. And uh, then there's a 20-minute demo reel and other stuff. Now, they have, of course, released Spinal Tap in other formats with bonus material. But the running commentaries on this are unique. So pretty cool to have. One of my favorites. And here's another Kurosawa classic for sure, Throne of Blood. And this is a two-disc set, but not a gatefold. As you can see, I've fallen in love with Akira Kurosawa, a name that I knew, but it took laser discs for me to see all of these movies. Here's a really nice box set of the classic 2001 A Space Odyssey. Still looks amazing, doesn't it? Arthur C. Clarke's classic story, done by Stanley Kubrick. And there's the back. And lots of special features on here. Um, footage of the Jupiter flybys of Voyager 1 and 2 and a retrospective and a whole bunch of stuff. It's nice to have. And this is when you open the box, again, it comes with special notes that they tell you about to look out for in this great box. Another Japanese film, film Ugetsu. What was this price? This was price $42.95 at J&L Music World back in the day. And that's what it looks like 
on the back. Beautiful artwork. Great movie. And here's another one. Director approved. Vagabond. Another really cool movie. And that's one of the great things about Criterion Collection is you don't have to have ever heard of the movie. If they're putting it out, whether it's on Blu-ray now or DVD or Laserdisc, you know it's one of the great movies of all time. This is an oldie but a good one, Variety Lights. And I'll tell you, even when I watch these, this is like a really old movie, you know? But it still is really enjoyable. There's something special about all of these movies. And here's Igmar Bergman's the classic, The Virgin Spring. Tremendous film, obviously. This one's got $49.98 it was priced. And the great thing is if you go shopping for lasers this out there, uh, I can find them pretty cheap. Not Criterion. Criterion's not easy to find. But when I do, always great. And here's another one. Wages of Fear. Cool movie for sure. Another two-disc set. Well, not a gatefold. Great artwork. And we're getting down to the bottom here. We got Costa Gravis' classic Z. Political thriller. Heard of it. Didn't see it until I got this laser disc. And loved it, of course. Great movie. Great, great movie for sure. Z. And one more, and then we're going to have two extras left over. This is Zulu. And this is another two-disc set. And here's the back, and there is the gatefold, and there's the A through Z. Now, I got two other ones to show you. I have a whole separate collection of rock and roll music laser discs, but I will show you these two because they are criterion. Two Beatles films. This is A Hard Day's Night, and that's the back. And special features, Richard Lester's first film. And a video interview, some other stuff, and there's the gatefold. Beatles in a Hard Day's Night, and then they also did The Beatles in Help. Goofy movie, but good music. But not quite as good as uh, Hard Day's Night. I have other Beatles uh, laser discs, but they're not Criterion. Yellow Submarine, Magical Mystery Tour. First U.S. visit and others. So there you go. There is M through Z, my Criterion Collection Laserdisc. I hope you have found this interesting and fun. And if you collect uh, and like watching hard, you know, uh, physical media of movies, uh, Criterion Collection has the half price sale at Barnes & Noble's in the month of July. And also I think it's in November as well. But you ain't going to find Laserdisc there. But I'm always on the lookout for them. So I hope you enjoyed this. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Hope you had a good weekend. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. And I hope you watched part one of this. And uh, there's other videos as well if you go to playlist on movies and laser discs. Thanks so much again. And I will see you next time on the Alan Rosenberg Show.